Alright, so since I haven't seen an unboxing video yet, uh, I figured I would for the Seton uh, Infinity V4 quad cable card tuner. Um, this is the box. I have not opened it yet. Um, this is from uh, March 13th from Zones. Um, the first batch or the second batch if you consider the Microsoft pre-order program the first batch. Alright, I expect this is going to be pretty quick and uneventful because I don't even think it has a driver disc in there. So, let's see what's in it. There we go, the Infinity V4 came double boxed. There was actually another box with some uh, packing around it to uh, protect it, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and cut that open there. Nice little Seton sticker. Seton printed over and over on the sticker. Alright, so what do we have in here? Installation guide. A couple of steps probably includes the link for the drivers. In case y'all want to see what that is about. Nothing on the back. And we have our nice dongle to attach the cable. So from the miniature to the big. That's a nice feature that they have. This is a low profile PCI bracket with screws. And then it looks like we have the card itself. Doing this one handed, so bear with me. Alright, so there it is, and it's nice anti static bag. After four, oh no, how many months? Five months of waiting. We have it. Feels pretty solidly constructed. Uh, no fan, just like they said. If you can see, you know, there's where the cable card goes. Um, there's uh, the back. There's a cable in there. I guess from the coax. Not really a whole lot to it. Infinity V. PCI Express X1. Let's see if there's anything else in there. I don't think so. Nope, just packing. So that is my quick and dirty unboxing of the Seton Infinity V4. Um, hope you enjoy it.